lives left. Out of lives, topple them. One minute left. The enemy is out of second chance. Either team has lives left. Show no mercy. One opponent remains. One hundred thirteen challenging raid bosses. Fifty rare event bosses. Raids for up to one hundred players. Open world PvP. Cross faction battles. Castle sieges. Multiple arenas. Diverse battlefields. Gripping naval battles. Regular PvP events. Do what it takes to stay home as a hero.
starting to pile up though. They've got a nice big splat. There's the wrecking blow into the executioner with the subterranean. Nick taking one player down. The Dawnbreaker to follow up, putting good damage into the group there. The yellow player responding well with the roll dodge. Nick getting stunned by the enemy warden's ultimate and just gonna pull out a bit, reset his buffs, pulling out of those AoE and uh, keeping that shield up. Resets his combo with the subterranean assault into the wrecking blow. Good damage on that Templar there. And as you can see, Mescaline's just sitting outside the resource here. A ton of yellow coming through uh, through here. Mescaline getting a huge combo off on this guy there. Finishing him off with this stun. Uh, and another guy going for the res here. Mescaline is not going to allow that. Oh my gosh, just punishes this guy for going for that res. A huge bash there. Switching to this target here. A great stun into the Executioner. Four super snappy kills right off the bat there. And Mescaline's just going to kite right back inside. More and more yellow starting to pile up here. There is a red uh, player in here as well, but he's going to be friendly, and Mescaline's just going to wait for the rest of the yellow. Well, in ESO, it's actually fun to fight things. It's as simple as that. ESO's action-based combat system requires you to weave your basic attacks and skill abilities while using other players' synergy spells while roll dodging and blocking enemy attacks to simply stay alive, much less maximize your damage output. And while it is true that at times, ESO's combat can feel a bit stiff, it is still very enjoyable and engaging. After completing certain quests or defeating a boss in a dungeon or trial, NPCs and towns will comment on it. Such as a random NPC telling me, good thing you were there to stop the Covenant at Gavin's Watch, after saving a town from one of the other faction's armies. It's the small things in RPGs that really make you feel like the world is alive. And ESO does a great job of making you feel like you're breathing Tamrielic air when you're playing. That feeling of camaraderie is where ESO really shines. Its ability and its content for you and your friends to explore and play together. The many group dungeons and trials slash raids of the game offer unique challenge and three, two, one.